Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a new, improved and better than ever top 10 list of free Steam games. This list is a mix of some well-known games and some games that aren't that popular. I've also tried my best to have as much variety as possible on the list. There are no two games in the exact same genre on this list. With all that being said, let's jump straight in. This is my top 10 free games on Steam. On the first spot on this list we have T-Worlds. A pretty old game released way back in 2007. But don't let that concern you, because it's still just as good as on the day of its release. And it still has a fair amount of players. It's a free-for-all 2D shooter with charming cartoonish graphics and simple combat that features hammers, guns and grappling hooks. There is a variety of game modes including Team Deathmatch and Capture the Flag. And you can even design your own maps. It's also very addicting. I'm pretty sure this game can bring some fun to everyone and if you're looking for a simple 2D shooter, there is no better game for you. Coming in number 9 is a free strategy game unknown to many, Age of Conquest 4. It's a turn-based risk-like game with many different maps. You only have two free maps though, but there are many different scenarios that can be a lot of fun in both single-player and multiplayer modes. For example, there are medieval scenarios, but you also have World War 3 scenario. Overall, if you like turn-based strategy games, you must not miss this one because it has great mechanics and it's worth playing. At number 8 we have Zula, a FPS that reminds me of District 187, which was close 2 years ago. It's a classic FPS shooter which isn't complicated, is fun and has solid graphics. There is not much else to say. I can say that many maps are a Counter-Strike ripoff, which isn't that bad considering CS has some incredible maps. Not the most original or innovative work, but it is fun, and I'd recommend it to anyone looking for a fun free FPS. At number 7 we have Soda Dungeon. It's a fairly new dungeon crawler. I'll explain the game's simple concept for you. You're a coward without a penny to your name, but luckily near you is a tavern that produces drinks that convince people to do dangerous things and you can hire all these people to do your dirty work, to collect loot for you in caves, basically. It's incredibly addicting and the game features a great variety of gear and enemies. As you progress more and more, the game gets better and better. Also the soundtrack is fantastic, and I really like the art style. If you're looking for a fun game for relaxation, try this one. It's not as boring as re and repetitive as clicker games, and you also don't need to rapidly click things all the time. It's played like an RPG mostly. It gets a huge recommendation from me. Almost halfway there, number 6. It's Shadow Wars. Maybe it's not Hearthstone, Elder Scrolls Legends, or Gwent, but it's the best card game Steam has to offer. Arguably, of course. There's many different classes and many story chapters for each class in single player mode, which is pretty good. The game is very rewarding and the developers are very kind to their players, giving away many free packs. It also features some very nice artwork and it's pretty balanced. I won't explain the game's mechanics today, but I can say that it's simple. Overall, if you're looking for a new card game, try this one. Middle of the list we have Warframe. I won't go into many details with this one since it's a regular customer on my top 10 lists. It's one of the best co-op games on Steam, if not the best. It's a third person action game set in a co sci-fi world. Graphics are breathtaking for a free game and the combat is really satisfying. I'd say that it's a must play, especially if you have a friend to play it with. Number 4. Brawlhalla. It's close to Super Smash Bros on PC as possible. It features many unique characters and styles of play. It's incredibly difficult to master too. You don't get all heroes for free though. 
you can only play characters on rotation, but you can also buy characters with money earned in the game. It's for up to 8 players online or locally. It's really unique. It has amazing art style and is just amazing overall. You should try it, no matter what games you enjoy. It's truly great. Another regular feature, at number 3 we have Pads of Exile. A winner of GameSpot's PC Game of the Year in 2013. It's a free alternative to Diablo, and some might even say that it's better than Diablo 3. Not much else to say. One of the best ARPG games on the market, set in a dare fantasy world filled with things to do. If you like this type of game, it's a must play. If not, I'd still give it a try. Especially with a friend. Number 2. Paladins. An alternative to Overwatch that actually become Overwatch's number one competitor, rather than Battleborn. Some say that it's a Overwatch ripoff, but it's much more than that. It's played differently than Overwatch, but yet it's also familiar and similar to it. It features a card system and four different modes, Payload, Survival, Siege and Co-op vs AI. It's a really nice alternative to Overwatch, and some say that it's even better. It's a pretty fun team-based shooter with strategy elements, and if you're into that, it's a must-try. If you don't have money for Overwatch, and you want Overwatch, this is surely a game to be played. And finally, number one, Smite. I'm not a high-res fanboy, even though two of their games are in top two. But what can I say, Smite is the only MOBA I can stand and I, I, actually I liked a lot. I have over 800 hours in it and I haven't regretted it. Its approach with more action based third person style of playing, a MOBA won me over and variety of gods from many different mythologies basically make it a perfect game for me. It's regularly updated every week and new gods are being introduced every month. It's season 4 now and the game is at its peak. I suggest you try it even if you don't like MOBAs. You may not agree with my opinion that this is the best game on Steam, free game of course, but it's my opinion, of course. That's it for this list, if you enjoyed slap that like button and subscribe if you already didn't. Won't ask you to ring the bell though. Thanks for watching.